the healing God. He is the delivering God. Hallelujah. He is the God of light. He is the God of salvation. He is the redeeming God. I can go on and on and on about how good God is. Amen. Can we just give glory to God? Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. We didn't come here to look around. Hallelujah. Don't look at me. Hallelujah. Look upon the one. Hallelujah. Who has healing in his hands. Look upon the one who has life in his hands. Look upon the one who has all power in his hand. Look upon the one who has all strength in his hands. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hide me behind your glory, Lord. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come to magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. I heard a song that said, look what the Lord has done. Look in all the earth at what the Lord has done and what he is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Satan cannot stop what God has ordained. Satan cannot stop the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. It not only starts their body of Christ in the White House. Amen. It's also in Israel. It is also in this church house. Hallelujah. God has anointed you he has called you he has appointed you hallelujah and if the doctor said otherwise i call him a liar right now god said that he came to give you that you might have life and have it more abundantly you need the abundance and overflow of the glory of god in your life if i'm speaking to you i dare you to give god glory in this place i'm excited Hey, I'm excited. <laughs> Glory to the Lamb of God. How long did the enemy think he could go around doing what he has been doing? How long has he been thinking that he could do whatever it is that he wants to do? I have a word right now in James 5. Go with me real quick. Hallelujah. Ooh, my Elohim and my Shekhanah, my Yeh, your glory, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James 5 says, go to now, you rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. Crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord Sebaoth. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton, been wicked. You have nourished your hearts as a day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just, and he does not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your heart, for the coming of the Lord draweth now. Nigh. How long did the wicked think that they could keep on doing what they were doing? God has already spoken. And he is still speaking. Amen. Because every time we speak this word, this word is renewed. Hallelujah. And it goes forth in the name of Jesus. There comes a time, body of Christ, to where you got to know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. What have you been crying over? What have you been laboring over? God said, joy. Hallelujah. It's here. Joy. Unspeakable joy. Glory to the Lamb of God. If you don't want it, I'll take you your share. Hallelujah. Woo. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He says, establish your heart. Be steadfast. Be thou immovable. 
Hallelujah. Just because everyone wants to sway one way, you don't sway that way if God ain't moved in that direction. Hallelujah. We got to get to a point to where we stand and trust on the word of God. It doesn't matter if there is a million people agreeing on one evil thing. It does not make it right. Hallelujah. We got to get to the point, body of Christ, to where we agree with God and God alone. Hallelujah. We got to get to the point to where we know the word of God or the enemy will come and pervert that word. And then we will be following wickedness. Establish your heart. What have you portioned your heart out to? Whom have you portioned your heart out to? There are people walking around situations and circumstances that have a portion of your heart. You said, what do you mean? Your mind, your will, your emotions. You are supposed to take back your peace. Take back your joy. Take back your love. Take back your understanding. Take back your hope. Your hope. That alone is enough for you to grow and stand firm in the word of God if you trust in the hope of his word. Hallelujah. Establish your heart. For the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another. Brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. See, there's a thing where when you were a child, there were some things that when the adults would leave the house, the children would, would do certain things that they knew that they were not supposed to do, get into certain foods that they knew that they weren't supposed to do, drink certain things that they knew that they were not supposed to drink because they thought that adult would not know. And, and God amazes me because it doesn't matter how old we get, he still calls us little children. Because we still do things that we think that he won't know. Oh. Oh. Bless your name, Jesus. He said, don't do those things lest you become condemned. We set ourselves up, body of Christ, a lot of times for failure. Because the enemy comes and he strikes down our hope. He brings forth affliction. He has the daughter going off on the mother. The son coming against the father and vice versa. The sister is at the brother. The brother is at the sister. The niece is at the aunt. All these things that are going on. And in the midst of that, we lose the focus of love. Love. See, there's some portions of your heart, body of Christ, that needs to be retracted. There's some people that you have poured out your heart to that you need to get it back in order for you to be made whole. See, because when you give a piece of your mind, your heart, and your soul to someone, then they have power over you. And whatever it is they dibble in, guess what? It ripples right over to you. And you're wondering, what is going on? It's because that soul tie is still there. There needs to be some umbilical cords that need to be cut. There needs to be some surgical cords that need to be removed. Some of us are attached to the wrong people. Some of us are attached to the wrong thought processes. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you, Jesus. Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering and affliction and of patience. Behold, we count them happy, which endure. You have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender of mercy. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by any oath, but let your yea be yea and your nay be nay, lest you fall into condemnation. See, we got to be at a place to what you see is what you get. When I am here in this place is the same person you're going to see when you come to my household. 
The body of Christ is in a position right now to be restored with power. Are y'all hearing me? Restored with power. Because see, some of us got the power and others have given away the power. And some of us need to restore and be retaining that power to go forth in the kingdom to turn things around. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Coming to the body of Christ gathering like this is step one. It doesn't stop when we leave out of here. Many of us know that. We've preached this. We've taught this in Bible studies. We have had these conversations. But what are you doing? What are you doing? Because what you do do is what's going to become. That's what's going to stand and last because you keep doing it. You are enforcing it by what you do. So what is it that you are doing? And then what is it that you are not doing? Because God has told many of us to do certain things, say certain things, and go to certain places, and we refuse to do so. We have told God, God, if you just let me get through this, I will serve you. God ain't heard from you in 10 years. God, if you would just get me up out of this bed, I will do what you want me to do. You have not moved 10 feet since you got out of the bed. There are people out here right now. The Bible says that the foolish confounds the wise. There are some words that need to be spoken from those of you that may even have a stutter. And you're like, I don't know where to start. God says, just go and open your mouth. I will do the rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah power restored to the body of Christ I'm telling y'all God is doing something mightily he is doing something great there are people that said things about this man's character of the president elect but I know God is also a humbling God he will humble you and put you in position to where you need to be that when you are seated in high places that you will no longer do those foolish things or say those foolish things you will have the strength that is backed by the power of the almighty in the name of Jesus so what we all need to do right now the power that God has given us to us is to pray like we have never prayed before because the devil is mad but I thank God that God is greater God is bigger God is stronger God is wiser God is mightier God is a force to be reckoned with hallelujah this God that we serve is the one true God it's time for the body of Christ to be heard we've been seen It's time for us to be heard. The truth needs to be rung like a bell, like an alarm being sounded, coming forth with vibrancy to make changes in the atmosphere. I'm talking about the dunamis power that only comes from God himself. Hallelujah. I'm talking about that when we speak that the voice of our vibration goes forth and things start to move and shake on the inside to where things that were crooked are now made straight to things that were unholy become holy. We got to get to a place to where we want the things of God and do our part in the name of Jesus. I I would love to see us to come into this place. Pastor Donald, Pastor Donna, and Pastor Cecil and Sister Lee, I would love for, for to come through these doors and the body of believers are already praying. Their hands are already lifted. They're already on assignment. Hallelujah. They've already clocked in. Hallelujah. Because there is a war in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Don't get complacent. Now ain't the time to get complacent and kick back. We rejoice this morning, but know that we got to keep our warfare clothes on. Hallelujah. This fight is real. And God says that he looketh for one. I will say, yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord, I'll put that down. 
Yeah, Lord, I'll, I'll start sniffing that. Yeah, Lord, I'll, I'll start smoking that. I'll stop drinking that. I'll stop popping that. I'll stop looking at that. Purify me, O oh Lord. Create in me a clean heart. Renew in me a right spirit. Use me for your glory at such a time as this, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. He's looking for one that says, yes, let your yay be yay. Hallelujah. Yet it be yes, Lord. Surrender to him. Because there's going to come a day that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Even the things that are under the earth ha, shall declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. We got to know that we know whose side that we are on. There is no wavering in between. I don't care if it is your cousin that you grew up with and they want to go this way and you say, no, I'm standing with God. You continue to stand firm with God because eventually that truth, hallelujah, will resonate within them. And guess what? They'll cross on over to the other side as well. Hallelujah. Just stand firm. Hallelujah. Be thou immovable and shakable in your faith in the name of Jesus go forth body of christ go forth where do i start i don't know where to start sis i don't know i'll tell you where to start bow down and cry holy 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 is the lord god almighty and he will direct thy path in the name of jesus that's where you start humble thyself in the sight of the lord thank you lord Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Are you happy? Let him sing songs. Hallelujah. You know, when God does something great, we should all be glorifying him. Some of us are so carnal that the greatness of God is limited to a paycheck in the mail. Let me see my brother's soul one. Let me see my nieces and nephews' souls one. Let me sing and rejoice and be glad in that. Hallelujah. Let me see my children wake up today. Let me see the goodness of God in my brethren and sisters in the body of Christ that when I see them, I am glad. I can rejoice and say, thank you, God. You woke me up to see my brother's face. You woke me up to see my pastor's face. You woke me up to see my sister's face. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. You don't got nothing to sing about. I got plenty to sing about. I will make a joyful noise up here and be glad that God is the rock of my salvation. God is my help in the time of trouble. God Almighty hears every cry and he answers. God holds dear the tears when I cry. God is faithful and just. He is true. Hallelujah. You don't got nothing to sing about. I'll give you something to sing and dance about. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Be grateful for all of his goodness. Oh, do your part. You've asked, now do your part. God, heal me. He said, take up thy bed and walk. Do your part. I already healed you. God, I've been trying to get in that water over there. It's trouble. He said, get up. Get up. Get up. I'm speaking to somebody in here. Get up in your faith. Go higher in your faith. Get up. Get up. Get up. Take up your bed. Take a stand. Hallelujah. Take your healing. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Do something that you've never done before. They said that you wouldn't be able to touch your toes. I dare you to try. In the name of Jesus. Get up. Get up. Get up, body of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. You said, God, heal my brother. He said, you get up and you go lay hands on him. You said, God, take this from me. He said, you take your hand and remove it from you. 
apart. You said, oh, the church needs this. Do your part. Oh, we need to be feeding people. Get in the kitchen and cook. Do your part. You know, if they had this and they were doing this, it would grow. Do your part. Stop holding back the blessings of God. Do your part. Do you see what God has already done in the midst of the nations? And you think God can't turn around something as simple as diabetes, something as simple as cancer? God can do it all. He can do it all. I tell people, don't call me if you don't want to see God move. You call me and say, sis, I need prayer for this. Okay, because I'm expecting God to do something great. Hallelujah. When you expect it, he does it. Why? Because of faith. He said, without it, it's impossible to please him. Don't take no doubt and worry and woe is me people in no hospital room and this person is hanging on by a thread. Don't take them in that room to agree with you. They ain't agreeing. They're going by what they see. They see in tubes. They see in all these things going on. All they see is death and the end. God says, not so. Not so. Your glory, Lord, your glory, Lord. Confess your faults one to another. Stop trying to hide stuff. Let it out. Confess it because then Satan cannot accuse you. Hallelujah. Confess it and move on from it. Take it to the Lord. See, that, that's so striking to me because God is so great and gracious. He's so merciful. We don't know what the president-elect took before God. People want to hold him up for stuff that happened 20 years ago, 30 years ago. How would it be if they did that to you? You did stuff 20 years ago. You did stuff yesterday. You did something this morning that you wasn't supposed to do. But since his stuff is aired out in public, then, oh. Oh, my yellow hemon, I'm okay. I tell it. Don't worry, Pastor Cecil. You can tell them to contact Harkonnen to the King Ministries. I answer every one of them. <clears throat> I know who's with us. God is with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is all. True to yourself so you can be true to God. Of all fallen. But God is a restorer. Or Jesus. I'm going to say this before I close. Stop blaming every disaster on God. We have so much authority and power that we refuse to use. And stop giving Satan so much power over circumstances. We had a delay to minister at a church. And let them know we may be running a little late. Well, we weren't. Just didn't feel right. Right. on the highway. Well, typically, they go from this time to that time, <laughs> this particular organization. Then you got this per amount of time that they set apart, you know, testimony. Looking at the time. The enemy, if I wanted to get would have talked us into turning our back. There ain't no way by the time we get there, they'll have 15 minutes. What can be done in 15 minutes? A whole lot. 
Maybe that's all God needs. But praise be to God, we got there and the word was going forth. Amen. Hallelujah. And they asked, well, brother and sis had a, a slight delay with traffic, right? I said, yeah. I said, well, I said, I can't give the enemy no glory for it because I have a thing called divine delays. I know when God divinely delays some things sometimes. Amen. So I'm not going to stand in here and try to give the adversary no credit. Amen. See, I could have easily said how Satan did this and Satan did that. Satan don't have no power over me. He don't have nothing over me unless I give it to him. Praise God for a divine delay. Amen. Praise God for the divine delay in this election that took place because many tried to say, oh, you know, he, President Trump was going to win that last term. And then, of course, there was that uproar and things. I said people fail to realize it has been prophesied. Yes, he is supposed to be the president, but it's going to be split. God's word is still true. Many try to say, oh, well, this, that, or the other. No, you, you either are a prophet of God or you're not, okay? Don't wait until things change and then you try to line up with that. No, what did God say beforehand? Because God is all-knowing, amen? Divine delay. There was a period of time that had to take place. There were some things that had to be revealed. There was some humbling that had to be taken place. Everything has a time and a season. And I speak to your heart and soul right now. Now is your time. Now is your time to let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You are either for God or against him. There is no conversation about it one or the other. Hallelujah. If there's anyone in here that would like us to agree with you in prayer, hallelujah, whether it is to move forward and have that boldness to go forth in what God has for you to do, then I ask that you come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If that's you, come on. We're going to agree with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's anyone in here that say, you know what? I turned my back on God some time ago, and I, I'm, I'm ready to take a stand. Hallelujah. I choose him today. I ask that you come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If that's you, just come. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. God is awesome. He won't turn you away. Hallelujah. He's been waiting on you to make up your mind. He is waiting on a yes and an amen. Hallelujah. He is waiting with open arms. Glory to the Lamb of God.